Welcome to 司徒行行行，行行行啊，对，司徒行行行。大家好，我是司徒建国。Now today, like every other day since the epidemic began, I'm wearing a mask, 口罩 Now these are vital for protecting doctors and nurses in hospitals, and for protecting essential workers working on the front line, and extremely useful for protecting people like me. Now surgical masks and N95 masks, they protect the person wearing them from infection, but they also prevent the spread of virus and disease. So I'm going to try and be of some help today. I've come here to Yanshan Shuhua, a factory that produces the most important part of these face masks, Rongpengbu, or in English, the melt-blown non-woven fabric. Hello. Hello. Unbelievably, the production line that I'm about to go in and see was built and put into operation in just 12 days, and it works continuously, 24 hours around the clock, because the demand for masks right now is so high. It's really loud in there, so I'm going to put these in first. Okay. Wang Shufeng, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you for coming to work here. You're from when? I'm from 1 August 26. Oh, very early. Yes, very early. Let me briefly tell you what the factory is. The factory is made of masks. 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 The factory is made of 但是这个不能吃，不能吃。那我知道这的生产线比较机械化的，那不能提什么？第一步骤，上料。OK， 走，石头。<笑>我们开始上料吧，把粒料倒到我们的上料料仓里边去。然后呢，咱们的原料就通过真空上料系统上到组装置被吸走了啊。这个袋儿多重？这一袋是二十五公斤，二十二十五公斤，哇塞！来，一个人能干得动吗？我不知道。哎呦，哦我看了新闻报道，说了这个工厂是十二天建成这样。对，正常情况下需要多长时间？正常至少半年。半年。对，所以十二天真的很厉害。对，我们再来一袋。来来，哎呀，哎呀，这这个工厂是几月几号开始生产绒缝布？三月六号。然后每个月能生产将近两百吨。两百吨，对，然后两百吨能做成几个口罩？像咱们这种医用平面口罩，一吨绒喷布可以做一百万片，一百万。然后 N N 九五的呢 ？N 九五的话可以做三十万个左右，三十万，对。And that has gone on to create more than 180 million masks. What an astounding figure! Now, when Horsham Hospital was being built, there were lots of international media reports, you know, talking about the speed at which China can build a field hospital. Well, this is just as impressive. 
a production line built in 12 days and it's turning out this much produce. Amazing, absolutely incredible. And it's here at another factory where the Ron Pumbo is converted into face masks or cold up. Now, normally, people like me aren't allowed in here because it's a totally sterile environment. So, before going in, myself, and my team, and the cameras and the tripods, they're all going to be sterilized. Now, the workers can't eat in the factory, of course, but they don't even go home. They all live together in a hotel nearby the factory, and that's all to maintain high safety standards. So, I'm gonna go change this mask for an N95 mask and get dressed, and then we're gonna go inside. This is the biggest one. Oh, that's good. Oh, it's a bit of a shock. It's really a bit of a shock. Oh, I can see. Oh, I can see. I'm very, very hot already. Oh, it's a bit of a shock. It's a bit of a shock. It's a bit of a shock. It's just too small, so we're changing it again into a big one, 4XL. I've put on a bit of weight recently. Oh god. Now, just help you, how do you use it? Oh, it's a little bit. Oh, sorry. Okay, it's a little bit. I'm exhausted. Oh my god. Second time, now I'm ready. Good, but it's still a little bit. Okay. So this machine behind me is cutting out and stitching together N95 masks. Now the masks are made up of four layers, two layers of non-woven fabric, and then we've got the Rong Pong Bu, which was produced at that other factory, and then another layer, which is known as Ru Hong Yen. Every day you need to wear how many? I'll take 40 40 40 40 I'm not very good at this. So the masks are being vacuum packed and you've got to be quick putting them in. I'm really not very good. Working in these suits and, and all this, it's not, it's not easy, it's not comfortable. So these guys are, you know, my hat's off to them. They had to slow the production line down for me because I was so slow. Thankfully, I'm off the line now and it's back to full speed. But these guys are working really hard and they're working for us to create these to keep us safe. So I'm really grateful to them and, uh, well, I'm not good enough to work here, basically. And here are the finished products, disposable face masks. There's a high demand for masks all around the world right now. The masks produced by this company are CE standard, so they'll be making their way to Europe. Now, in a lot of Asian countries, it's normal seeing people wear face masks. They're a public health habit that's quite common. However, as we saw at the start of this year, people in countries all around the world, European countries, African countries, people in the Middle East, the US, Australia, New Zealand, they just weren't wearing masks. Now, part of the reason, or probably the main reason, is that they're just not used to wearing masks. But there was also the very incorrect assumption that if you wear a mask, then you are ill. But that's absolutely not the case. And now more and more people in these countries are wearing masks, or starting to wear masks after being recommended to do so, or out of personal desire. Now, the people in the factories where I've been today, they're doing a vitally important job. They're creating masks that are going to be used by healthcare workers and essential workers on the front line. So I'm very grateful to them. And uh, I'm looking forward to the day where I can take this mask off and smell these flowers. But until then, stay safe, and if you need to, Stay indoors.